Okay, so what is it you're planning to do? I have this project called Expedition 1000 and the idea is to do 25 different journeys of a thousand miles or more and each one uses a different way to travel without a motor. So no motor, no fuels. I've done 11 of those so far and this is number 12. The plan is to spend five weeks in November and December 2016 traveling Japan and I found this awesome scooter uh, made by a company called Swifty based up in Manchester and I, I wrote to the guys from Swifty and said hey you know how do you feel about uh, working with me on this on this trip I can't just do it on a normal scooter I need to uh, be able to carry a little bit of gear I want to be totally self-sustained apart from the food that I that I buy along the way and they just jumped at the chance they've been awesome they've drawn up all kinds of designs and made these racks above each wheel so I can carry all of my gear at the same time as keeping a low centre of gravity. I never had a, any kind of kick scooter when I was a kid and so this is this is kind of foreign to me but I, I like the fact that it's a little bit childish and, and just fun. Just travelling downhill is, is awesome on this and while it's not as fast on the flat or definitely uphill as a bicycle I really like doing trips which are a little bit different. I mean, this is harder to cover a thousand miles on than a bicycle. You know, this is this is gonna be a tough trip in so many aspects, but I like that physical challenge. And, and also it is, I, I think it's gonna get a lot of attention in Japan. You know, these things are basically made for primary school children to go to school on. And then, you know, you just turn it into an adult contraption with some bigger wheels and a, a nice finish. and. I think it makes for a, an amazing journey. I think travelling in a weird way is always a, a cool icebreaker and this is definitely that. Yeah, I'm super excited. And I've just been I've been, just been out for a couple of test runs and I'm slowly starting to understand how I can how I can carry all my gear. Uh, I've got some little panniers on the side. I, I'm working out whether to take a hammock or a tent this time round. I've got my camera bag on the back where I can put a little laptop. And that's pretty much all I'll, all I'll need. I'll be wild camping every single night for about five weeks and hopefully uh, learning a lot about this brand new country to me. I've never been to Japan. I'm excited about it. Ten years ago I was doing my first ever big trip. I was crossing Australia on a skateboard and uh, I guess this is kind of like like that but just with, with a handlebar and slightly bigger wheels. So it's almost homage to to that breakaway, that, that escape journey that I had all, all those years ago. And I'm kind of looking forward to reliving it, but in a brand new way. <laughs> I really like just boiling an adventure down to the basic elements. I, I might do 10 miles on the scooter before I leave just to roughly work out how I should pack and carry my gear and just a bit of confidence that I can do it. But apart from that, I won't train. I'll take it really easy for the first week or so just to build my fitness up and, and get used to just to pushing with both legs this time, not just one. Uh, I won't train and I'll take it really slow for the first week or so as it was <laughs> you know, these are all the rage now. Kids are travelling to school on them. I see kind of teenagers and adults out and about on them now and then. And it's just that one single extra step, just a decision to take it a bit further, which is the difference between a two mile commute or school run and travelling the length of a country like Japan. And it's so simple. I, I'm going to travel with like less than 10 kilograms of gear. I'll put up my tent and wild camp in the evenings and then wake up the next morning and, and go. You know, it's so simple and I think the beauty of adventure is that it doesn't have to be really convoluted. You can just make a decision, get something like this and make sure you can carry your gear and then off you go. You can travel for weeks and months and have a mind-blowing, memorable time. So cool. I guess even if your 
you're doing a big solo trip, it's always about people. And I find that traveling solo is probably the best way to meet people because you're, you know, you're not wrapped up in, in your travel companions. You are totally open and I guess a little bit vulnerable as well. So Japan is such a foreign idea to me. I've never even thought about going there until I was considering this trip. And I'm looking forward to investigating that culture, but also meeting people who, who live a totally different way. Uh, to what I'm used to. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Everybody that I've met has said, you, you with kind of fair, fair skin and red hair, traveling on a weird scooter through Japan is just gonna create a whole bunch of buzz. Uh, and I, I hope that I'm gonna meet thousands and thousands of people who will probably think I'm a little bit mad, but I'll probably think they're a little bit mad as well. So it's gonna be perfect. I'm, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't really know anybody in Japan. I've never been before. I'm not really going to look at maps or routes too much before I go. All I've done for route planning is uh, look to the satellite photo of Japan at night and plan the rough route through the dark bits, so away from urban areas. Uh, I just, I just want to experience the countryside and, and, and camp for a few weeks on the truck and then everything else. We'll just see what happens. I think this is going to be a really fun journey to experience and I'm really looking forward to sharing it as well. So I'll be posting regular good morning video blogs on my Facebook page and I'll be making videos and tweeting and Instagramming all the way through. I, Japan is such a foreign culture to many of us in the UK and Australia and the States and uh, I'm just looking forward to translating that in my own way. And the fact that it's on a kick scooter I think just makes it all the more special. I have no idea what's about to happen, but I'm looking forward to sharing. I hope you enjoy the adventure as much as I do. So all we've got to do now is take Swifty the scooter apart and get him into a box and send him to Japan. <laughs> Let's do it.